Hey guys, what's here? And today we're back again with Fallout New Vegas No Kill Permadeath Boxing Gloves Only. Now, the previous time we managed to do Boone's Companion Quest along with Veronica's, and we also finished up Edie's quest. And today we're actually going to do the very final side quest in this game that I haven't done yet, which is the Legend of the Star. Now, in order to actually do this quest, what I need is 50 Sunset Sesper Left Star Bottle Caps. Now, at the moment I only have 12. Which means for a large part of this episode, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to be hunting down many of these battle camps. Now to start off, let's actually go to Coyote Tail Ridge, and we need to go over here with all these trailers. Here we are. Now the Bitter Springs Recreation Office. I believe there are a few rats here, but that's perfectly fine. Should put this on. Now I'm just gonna avoid these rats and. Actually, just knock them out real quick. There we go. So here's one star bottle cap. There should also be another one. Ah, this is the second one. Done. I might as well just take this. Now, with that out of the way, I'm going to wait until night time. Alright, now that it's night time, it's time to head over to the next area. And that's a shack right behind that silo over there. The reason I wanted to wait until night time is because there's a lot of castle doors over there. Now, during night time I can easily avoid them, but during the day they would see me from a much larger distance. And don't get me wrong, if those guys spot me at this point, that's going to be the end of the run. <laughs> so I do have to be a bit careful, but I'm sure everything is fine. So we need to go in here, and then... There's two more rats here, but that's perfectly fine. Starball cap. Oops, knock you out. Seriously, just lay down for a moment, thank you. Uh, there should be another one somewhere around here. Uh, oh, here we are. That's the second one. Alright, that out of the way. Next up to the 188 trading post. And if we go over here, another star battle cap. Really easy. And next up, the... Let's see. Aerotech office park. And now that we're here, we could actually... Go to the far side, over here, and another star bottle cap. Alright, next up, we're going to Black Mountain. Now, from here, I believe... Oh, here we are, star bottle cap at the very bottom. Let's just knock you out, thank you. It has no health, but I'm pretty sure he has some. Yeah, he has more than enough. Still haven't killed anyone, so that's good. Next up, Camp Forlorn Hope, and more importantly, the Camp Forlorn Hope Mess Hall, and let's see, yep, right over there, Star Bottle Cap. Now over to Camp Golf, so here inside the resort at Camp Golf, we just go through here, somewhere around here should be more Star Bottle Caps, let's see, it's, here we are, that's one. And the second one right over here. Oh, here we are. And here's the third one. Gotcha. Now, next up, we actually want to return to Coyote Tail Ridge. There's quite a few castle doors around at this place. So I'm just going to wait until nighttime again. Now, the reason I waited until nighttime is because this area has a lot of castle doors in it. Over there and also to the other side. And the location I'm in is right next to a whole, whole bunch of them. So I'm hoping to just sneak my way in and out. Also, just to be clear, don't be too impressed. By the fact that I know all of these locations, I 100% just like have a lift in front of me here. And I've never actually completed this quest because I, I just couldn't be bothered <laughs> to pick up 50. As you can see, Kazador right over there, and he's not the only one. So I'm glad to just go in here. Alright, cap counterfeiting shack, and we just go through here. And here's one. Here's two. And uh, third one right over here. Might as well just take all the Sunset Sarsaparilla and stuff. Right. Next up, we're going to Cottonwood Cove. Right now, we're at 26 star bottle caps, which isn't too bad. And we're about to make that 27. Because we just need to go in from here. And the women's restroom. And then, let's see. Right over here, star bottle cap, done. Next up, the Crimson Caravan Company. 
And then right over here, next to the radio. Next up, El Rey Motel. Now we just have to go through here. First up, knock this guy out. You can, it's totally cool, by the way, he's a craved chem addict, so... I'll take the knife off him, leave him to near death. And... Let's see, where... Also take this knife, just so he won't take it. It ought to be somewhere around here. Uh, oh, here he is. Pre-war hat and sunset Esprit left our battle cap. Done. Next up, field check. Oh, apparently I leveled up, by the way. Cool. Alright, speech can go to 100. Um, science can go up to 75. Three skill points. I don't really need for anything, which I'm not sure. Right over here, one more star bottle cap. Next up, the Gibson Scrapyard. And I believe it should be... Ah, right in this corner. Alright, for next one, we head on over back to Good Springs. And the first one... Oh, actually, now that I'm here, might as well just take all this Sunset Sarsaparilla they leave out. The reason for that is, every time you drink one, there's a 6% chance you get a star bottle cap. So I might just drink all of them in a moment and see if I can get a few that way. Anyway, into this home. Ah, here we are. Star bottle cap, thank you. So that's one in Good Springs, but there's another one. Alright, it's right over here. Here it is, next to the toaster. One more star bottle cap. There. Now, to Jacobstown. So here at Jacobstown, we need to go into this one bungalow right over here. And one star bottle cap, thank you. Next up is Gene Skydiving. I don't mind me. Here's one right over here. Alright, next up I need to go to the Griffin Sack Caravan. And the reason I'm here is because over here there's one more thing I need to get. There are some castle doors over there, but I'm pretty sure they won't spot me even if I walk. Yeah, I'm fine. Just walk over here, Horowitz Farmstead. Now there are three raiders inside, so I'm just gonna try and sneak. But they'll probably spot me because um, humans in this game are a bit more perceptive than the creatures are. Also, one of them isn't sleeping, so... Oh well, worth a try. Remnant's power armor. And let's see. Is this a star ball cap? Yes, there we go. I like how the Viper Gunslinger doesn't actually have a gun. There we go. Just make sure that you're not going to cause any more trouble. Just take your gun from you. Wait, did your gun already fall out of your hands? Eh, whatever. Let's get out of here. Alright, we can fast travel. Next up, let's make our way to the Mojave Outpost. Alright, don't mind me. Because right over here, Star Bottle Cap. We should actually go to the NCR Correctional Facility. Uh, now, I'm not sure if there's actually still powder gangers in here, but I guess we'll find out. Let's just go in here. Oh. Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, here it is. Star bottle cap. And I'll just take this as well. Fire me, guys. Yeah, take care. Are they gonna follow me? Oh, they are. Cool. Uh, that's fine. I'll just knock you out then. Let me just take that. Alright, but you can shoot all you want. I'm just gonna make my way out of here now. Alright, I can actually move. So let's make our way to Prim. So back in the Bison Steve Hotel. And all the bandits that were here that I didn't actually kill, they uh, die automatically the moment you finish my kind of town. Ah, here we are. Yep, I'll take that. Here at the Prim House, the outskirts of town. 
All I gotta do is just pick this up. It counts as ceiling, so they're gonna be mad, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure I can just get out of here now before they load in. Next up, Nellis hangers. Just go in through here to the mess hall. One star bottle cap. There should be another one here. I'm happy that we managed to there we go. That's two. Next up, North Vegas Square. Alright, just go into the grey. Then right over here. This one has to be stolen. That's fine. Take that. Next up, to Novak. Alright, we're already at 43. So we only need seven more, luckily. Alright, next one is up over here. And then, I might as well just take the squirrel stew. Noodles. And here we are. Another star bottle cap. There's actually another star bottle cap over here in no. Novak as well. Uh, now I believe it's in this house. No, is it over here? Oh no, here it is. Another star bottle cap, thank you. Next up, let's make our way to the Flown. And then in here in the mess hall. Hello. Another star bottle cap. And I'm here, might as well just buy some food. Yep, I'll literally buy all of these. Alright, uh, with the one in Sloan done, now I need to go to a bit of a risky one. Junction 15 railway station. It's risky because this place is filled with death claws, as you can see over there. But that's fine, as long as I can quickly just pick up the... Sunset Sesprilla Star Bottle Cap, it's over there on the ground. Now can I... Okay, I can immediately fast travel, good. Uh, next up, let's go to the Repcon headquarters. Alright. Now, from here, we actually go through here first. I believe I already opened this a while ago. And then there should be a star bottle cap. That's one. Yeah, this one's a star bottle cap. Good. There should also be another one over on this side. Ah, yes. Gift shop. Is there another one here? Yes, another star bottle cap. That means right now I have 49. Hello. Please remember visiting hours of... Oh, yes, yeah, alright, sure. I'm getting out, don't worry. Like I said, every time you drink Sunset Sarsaparilla, there's a 6% chance you'll uh, get a star bottle cap. But at this point, I only need one more. So what I'm going to do is just drink all my Sunset Sarsaparilla. 23 times 6. Oh, I immediately got one out of it. Wait, 49? Oh, wait, I thought I had... Okay, not gonna lie, I thought I only needed one more, but I need two more. Alright, 20 times 6, Quan. Did I get it? Yes, I did. 50. Now just drink up to lose my dehydration. Alright, now with that out of the way, we can finally make our way to the Sunset Sasperla headquarters. And over here, there'll be two raiders, but that's completely fine. Or two fiends, actually. We'll just put this on. For some reason, they always shoot at the robot. It's, which is completely fine with me, because that just means they won't be shooting at me. Ah, damn it. Let me just take my take her weapon off her. There we go. Oh shit, is he dead? No, he's fine. Alright, now they're knocked out. Let's just go over here and talk to this guy. Pleased to meet you. New in town, partner? Well, let old Festus give you the lay of the land. If you're here to redeem your sunset sarsaparilla stars, dump them into the slot in the barrel below and I'll count them up. If you don't know what sunset sarsaparilla stars are and think old Festus is just shooting his mouth off, say star info. If you're here to challenge old Festus to a game of lucky horseshoe, Say, I feel lucky. Lastly, if you're here about the health advisory that aired on Channel 6 recently, say, silly old advisory. Star info. Ah, oh, new to the hunt, are you? Well, listen carefully, as old Festus don't like to repeat himself. Select Sunset. 
set sarsaparilla bottles will have special caps with blue stars on them. These caps are known as sunset sarsaparilla stars. Why are these stars there? And what do they mean? <laughs> Nobody knows. Except maybe old Festus. <laughs> Rustle up enough of them and you can win a prize. So get out there and start drinking sunset sarsaparilla. Let's start the quest, The Legend of the Star. And now let's deposit all my Sunset Sasper of Star in the flood. And that's actually failed the quest, The Legend of the Star. Um, what? Is that it? The Sunset Sarsaparilla Company has received a number of complaints regarding the prize awarded for handing in Sunset Sarsaparilla stars. Therefore, we have seen fit to provide another prize that we feel will placate the most discriminating customer. Just head through the double doors and follow the hallway to your left to the very end. An attendant will be there to present your prize directly. We at the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company would once again like to thank you for your patronage. Right, yeah, so you go through here and there's a hole in the ground. Before that, actually, let me just open this fridge. Take all that and all that. Go. And then go down here. Alright, go through here, open this door. And in here, in all these crates, there's a bunch of caps. 
which you know is all cool but the real thing you want to get is right over here and there's this guy Alan Marks and there's also this holotape and by picking up the holotape you complete the quest of valuable lesson which is a very final side quest that we still haven't done in this entire game now if we listen to the holotape Right, so that's that, and you also have this special weapon, Pew Pew. And this isn't really all that special of a weapon, to be honest. Um, well, it is kind of interesting. It's basically just a laser rifle. But it actually costs 9 energy weapon energy cells to fire off, and it does a lot more damage. So it does a lot more damage, but it also costs a lot more ammo to properly fire. So at the end of that quest, it, we've done pretty much every single side quest that we can do in this entire game. At this point, there's only story quests left. However, there is one quest that I missed, which I can't do on this character anymore. And the fact that I missed it is actually extremely stupid of me. So we're going to leave Sweetie up behind for just a moment and go check in with someone else. Now, here we have a different character. She's built the exact same way as Sweetie. And we're back all the way in the beginning. She just got out of Doc Mitchell's place. Now, there's a very specific reason why I'm all the way back here. So I just agreed with Sunny to help her clear out some geckos. Just like Sweetie did as well. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Now, this is the part where I was being stupid. Because I said end tutorial, no need, I think I've got it covered from here. But if you just say couldn't hurt, you actually get the last of the tutorial quests. So yeah, um, completely stupid, I just completely forgot to do it, <laughs> in like the very first part, I basically skipped over a quest that I can't do again. So I thought I'd redo it, just so I can say that in this series I've literally done every single side quest that you can do in this game. So yes, couldn't hurt. Alright then, we'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Right, so we just have to pick some flowers here. So just go from here, ignore the geckos. Send the root. And then up on that hill over there, I just need to get some brock flower. A few bloat flies here, but you know, nothing too bad. All I gotta do is just see. There you are, brock flower. And I just avoid getting hit too much. And let's return to Sunny Smiles. Hello, Sunny. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Right, so we just go over here. Healing powder. And done. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Right, now to finish this quest, all I need to do is just talk to Trudy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. And that completes Welcome the quest the by a campfire on the trail. So yeah, one quest that I forgot to do and can't do anymore. It is what it is. Now with that quest out of the way, let's head back to our usual protagonist. Now there are a few quests here and there that I uh, kind of messed up and can't really do anymore. So for example, the house always wins. I uh, killed house while that was only at part two of the quest. But if you keep working with him, you can get up to a certain point. I think you can get up to the house always wins four. And then you can't continue, because otherwise you lock yourself out of the NCR path as well as the uh, Legion path. So yeah, that was a bit messy on my end. Now what I can still do, one story quest that I can still do is wildcard change in management. 
This is just where you let uh, Yes Man uh, take House's place up at L Lucky 38. And this is actually something that you can do, but I think it will give me NCR infamy, but it won't be too bad. It'll just be another quest that I have completed. The thing is, however, I can't do both change in management and side bets, because then I lock myself out of the NCR path as well. Because then the NCR refuses to work with me anymore, because I've, you know, I'm obviously trying to make New Vegas go independent. So let's do wildcard change in management as well. We might as well, right? And here we are in front of the Tops Casino. Yes, ma'am. Oh, hi again. Can I help you with something else? I'm ready for you to join me at the Lucky 38. Mr. House is out of the picture and you have the platinum chip? Wonderful. Let's go. Right, so he's going over to the Lucky 38 to install himself in there. The NCR isn't going to be happy about this, but they'll still work with me as far as I know. Hi! This is big, huh? A very big moment. Here goes. I'll just take that platinum chip off your hands. Thanks. Wish me luck. Securetron on the network. Wait, so that's what the platinum chip does. Interesting. Mr. House had a whole demonstration planned for you. Just head downstairs to the lowest level to check it out. You'll see. Step closer to the demonstration area, please. Okay, so you're familiar with Securitrons by now, obviously. I mean, some of your best friends are Securitrons, right? <laughs> our titanium alloy housing does a good job of protecting our delicate electronic insides from small arms fire and shrapnel. Our left arm contains an X-25 Gatling laser, quite deadly against off targets at medium range. That looks like fun. And for close range suppression and crowd control, we have this handy dandy 9mm submachine gun. Nice. All of this is old hat, right? Here is where it gets interesting. Turns out that those are our secondary weapons. All this time we've been running the Mark I operating system, which doesn't have drivers for our primary weapons. Imagine! Now watch this. I'm downloading the Mark II OS to all Securitrons on the network. Makes quite a difference. With the M235 missile launcher, we can engage ground and air targets at long range. And a rapid fire K28 grenade launching system makes us deadly in close range engagements. Woo! Look at that! The OS upgrade also includes drivers for our onboard auto repair systems. Just try to hurt us now! Altogether, this software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. You can come back up and see me or be on your way. I know you're a busy person. And it completes wildcard, change of management. Now what does the NCR think of me? Am I still... I think my reputation with them might have gone down a bit. Let's see... Nope, still I had left, that's good. So I immediately get Don't Tread on the Bear. The NCR has a robust network of informants. If you continue to work with Yes Man, the NCR will no longer accept your help. So this is basically the game warning me, saying, Hey, if you go down this path, this is what's gonna happen. And it's completely fine, because at this point... So now that we've done all of that, let's actually continue with the NCR main quest line, and let's return to Colonel Moore. Has the Brotherhood been found? I talked the Brotherhood into supporting the NCR. And you believed them? Do you have any idea how long we've been fighting those bastards? Ugh, Crocker will have a field day with this. He'll want to establish diplomatic relations with them for Pete's sake. But we've got more important matters to attend to. The President is due to arrive soon, and we're sure the Legion won't waste such an opportunity. I want you to assist the security detail we've prepared for the President. His safety is critical to maintaining the men's fighting spirit. Go up to the visitor's center and speak to Ranger Grant. He's in charge of security during the President's visit. 
Dismissed. Whoa. And that serves the quest. You'll know it when it happens. All right, let's talk to Ranger Grant. I've heard of you. I'm glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the president's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? I'm all set. Good. The president doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. So, what's the plan for today? The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is gonna try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. Uh, let's get the show on the road. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. But don't take too long. Oh, watch out. You might have known if they all go, Whoa, watch out! So yeah, it's something I've never really seen happen in my New Vegas playthroughs up until I did this whole no-kill thing. Because I think, seeing as I'm constantly fleeing, fleeing from enemies like every single time I get into combat, the game kind of thinks I'm in a constant state of combat, so every NPC that doesn't really, you know, doesn't really want to fight or whatever, just constantly tries to run away and goes, WATCH OUT! Like, you see it, I've seen this happen so many times during my playthrough, and it's really annoying. But yeah, not really something I can do anything about. Alright, so here you are at Hoover Dam. Now you said I can do some last minute, like, what is it called, uh, security sweeps or whatever. But there's really no reason to do that, so I'm just gonna talk to Ranger Grant immediately. Have you finished your security sweep? I'm ready. When will the president be here? Looks like that's his bird bird coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. So, uh, he is right. The Legion is going to try a few things, but it's really easy to avoid. First up, what I want to do... Only engineers and authorized personnel are allowed upstairs. Please step away. No one can go upstairs without authorization. I've always wanted to see the president's bird bird. Sorry, no can do. Speech 50, pretty please. Okay, just this once. Make it quick though, I don't want to get in trouble for this. Right, so that was really easy. Now all I gotta do is just go over here, climb the ladder. And the presence of the bird should come in at any moment. Oh, there it is actually. And keep an eye on this one NCR engineer here. So the president and some NCR rangers step out. And I look at this engineer. He just walks up to the vertebrate. Does something to it and just walks away. Hey. Now what I can do is actually inspect the presidential vertebrate. And you're looking at the presidential vertebrate. The assassins could have done something to the vertebrate. Repair or explosives 50 or higher required. Now my repair is 35 and my explosives is 40. So that's obviously not going to work. Unless I use a fixing things, which I have four of anyway, so might as well use one of those. And examine the vertebrate. You search the vertebrate and notice a strange item that doesn't belong. Upon examination, you notice it's a bomb. You skillfully disable the bomb and remove it from the vertebrate. So with that done, I can immediately report this to Ranger Grant. And he'll uh, cancel the speech and evacuate the president. And that'll pretty much be the job done. But what I'm actually going to do is also try to foil their second attempt. But I need to be a bit quick on that. So what's going to happen is up on that, uh, you see that ranger up there? There's going to be a legion sniper who's going to kill him, throw him off the building, and then try to shoot the president. But if I get there before him... So that's a legion sniper. He tries to shoot the guy. I'll just take that. There we go. They obviously hear all the shooting, and the president immediately evacuates to the vertebrate. I could radio this into Ranger Grant, but there's really no point at this point, because the 
because the president is evacuating anyway. You okay, by the way? Nothing is going to happen to the president on my watch. That's good. That's him safely flying off. And I can actually report this in at this point. Report. Um, I found a Legion sniper on the roof of the tower. Damn it. I can't believe the Legion actually got someone past our security. Good job catching them. I'll have a security team sweep the area to see if the Legion has any more surprises for us. I'm also canceling the President's speech. We'll have a security team get him out of here right away. But let's not relax until he's safe. You're a bit late with that one, buddy, seeing as he's already flying off, but sure thing. Alright, with all of that done, and the quest complete, we should return to Colonel Moore. Ah, Colonel Moore. Is the President safe? President has safely departed. Good. His death could have had a major impact on morale. This whole affair was ill-advised from the start, and I, for one, am glad it's over. While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a change in our strategy. I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed to send you to him immediately. He set up his camp in the office area at the south end of this power plant. Dismissed. All right. So now you're committing to fight with the NCR to battle for Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of, of New Vegas for decades to come. If there's anything you want to do before you enter the battle, do it now before you craft the point of no return. So this is basically the game saying, hey, this is the final quest, you're not going to be able to play anymore after the ending, just FYI. But you know what, I've literally done every single side quest there is, so let's do this. Well, you took your sweet ass time coming here. Let's get down to brass tacks. We need to get this thing moving if we want to keep the element of surprise. What's this all about? You've done some great work for us up to this point, and we're hoping to use your unique abilities to aid us once again. Thanks to the task my subordinates have delegated to you, the NCR now has a unique opportunity. And what opportunity is that? We now have a chance to take the fight to those bastards on their home turf. I'm in the beginning stages of planning out an assault on the fort. I've made calls to our allies, and they're on their way to our position. Once our forces are in place and garrison here, we'll begin our assault. Right. Sir, I don't know what happened. A bunch of Legionnaires just stormed into the power station. Into the power station? How is that possible? I don't know, sir. There was some... Oh, I leveled up. Wow, that was random. Uh, I'll just put all of my points into medicine. Seeing as I don't need anything else to be higher right now, more medicine just means that I heal more HP with every stim pack. As for my final perk... Um, I'll go with Fight the Power. You've had enough of, of the so-called authorities pushing poor, people, poor folks around. You'll gain plus 2 damage threshold and plus 5% critical chance against anyone wearing the faction armor of the NCR, Legion, or Brotherhood. Now, seeing as I'm going to be fighting mainly Legion here, that seems like a pretty good idea. Talk of them entering through the clog intake tunnels, but I don't have any confirmation. On my way up here, there was some chatter about their commander, the Legate, I think he's called, set up at some kind of base on the eastern bank. Okay, listen here. Unless we can get some additional support, I'm gonna need you to help me resolve this situation. You need to make your way to this camp they have on the eastern bank and take out the Legate. That should hamstring this attack. Okay, I'll take care of him. Thanks for your support. I'll make sure the NCR emergency radio is up and running. Go kill those bastards. Good gracious. The Legion is using the intake tunnels to storm their way into the dam. Someone has to stop them. What can I do to help? Hmm. I think that you should be able to divert the flow of the water into the generator turbines. That would grind them up like a hamburger. The computer to activate it is just ahead, but you may need to go outside to activate the manual override. That system hasn't been used in a while. Alright, I can handle them, no problem. Okay. Be careful out there. Will do. Now, there's a lot of fighting going on immediately. As you can hear. But, first up, I'm going to try and do the optional objective here. And shut down the, uh, the Legion's entryway into the power plant. Now, to do that, I just need to keep moving here. Uh, I, I should probably save him, though. Oh, wait, now he's fleeing because he's nearly dead. Oops. In that case, I'll just keep running. Okay, just go over here. Oh, hi, guys. Don't mind me. I did not expect all of them to be there. That's fine, though. I only took a little bit of damage. 
Activate overflow control console. Alright. This console controls the overflow controls for a generator intake tunnels. It looks like you can divert the auxiliary intake into the generator. Sign 65 or higher. I have that. Let's divert the water. The dials on the panel show a blockage with the intake system. The pressure will need to be relieved at the manual override valve. I can do that. Alright, so doing the optional objective, I'm actually going to head back now. Over here. And then over here to the exit. Alright, now first up what I should probably do is... Because I'm pretty sure they won't follow me in here. If the... Heal myself up a bit. There we go. Now all I need to do to complete the optional objective is activate the pressure release valve. And some Legion guys immediately come out. And don't worry, that doesn't count as killing anyone apparently. People killed zero, creatures killed zero. Because you know, it wasn't me, it was like the system and everything. I know it's against the spirit of no kill, but I thought I'd just do the optional objective. Let's move on. Alright, so, now we actually go on to the fight itself. Alright, so there's constant fighting going on, but I can just ignore that, I just need to make my way over there. Also, something I want to point out, this is like the third time I've been through this room, because it keeps crashing, and I'm hoping it won't crash this time, because otherwise I have a problem. No area has, has been crashing more for me than this one. So I'm just going to close this door behind me, just to slow them down. And just keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running. Alright, here we are. Now we're here. Now at the visitor center, we just have to go outside again. Oh, and these guys are coming out as well. Heavy troopers. Wait, are they following me? That's cool, they are. Alright, let's go. Wow, that's... That's really great with the support there, guys. Thanks. Okay, uh, I should probably heal up immediately. Also, now that I'm busy, might as well just use some um, medics. Just for some more damage resistance. Okay, let's take out the Centurion before he actually kills a guy. Because he has a super sledge and can do a lot of damage, so... Let's knock you out. And let's just help these guys out by knocking these guys out as well. Come on, lay down. Uh-oh. I forgot what that thing was called, but it ignores uh, any armor that you have, so that's not good. Alright, that's one dead. Alright, now you guys can focus on him and take him out. So yeah, I'm not gonna move on on my own. I'm, I just gonna, I'm just gonna walk with these guys while they clear a path with me. So it's them all dead. Let's heal up. Alright guys, you're just gonna not move at all, huh? Okay, cool. I just have to make my way through here the entire time. Okay, more NCR coming this way. Let's see if I can... Ah, uh, yes, okay, the rangers are moving up, luckily. And there is the airplane of the boomers, which is really cool, seeing as I helped them out. They're now gonna actually bombard these guys, if I'm correct. Yep. <laughs> I should probably, uh... Back off for just a moment. No, okay, that guy had no chance whatsoever. I'm surprised there's not more Legion guys here. And apparently he didn't realize that guy was dead, but you know what, that's cool. Okay, let's help out here. Okay, so that guy's gonna rush the NCR and probably not win. People killed zero. Okay, good. Yeah, he's not doing too hot, luckily. Uh-oh. Did I just kill him? No, I did not. Okay. Good. Oof. Was kind of worried there. Let's make sure you stay down. There we go. Only a sliver of health left. This guy's focused on me, and I'll get him killed. And there's only this guy left who's still alive. Come on, guys. Get some. Almost. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Again, I'm just gonna heal up a bit more. And let's move on. More Legion spawning over there. 
Let's just make sure they come to me. And the NCR Ranger is backing off, which is great. That's exactly what I needed. Oh, and more NCR and more legions also spawning. At this point, I'm just gonna run for it. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Th that, that's completely fine. Just run for it. I just need to make my way through here. Just avoid, avoid, avoid. Over damn checkpoints. What's going on over here? Nothing. Okay, cool. Yep, I'm just gonna wait here until I'm fully healed. Alpha Squad reporting in. Thanks for the support back there. We've been assigned to ensure you make it to the Legate. How can we be of assistance? Uh, I need some snipers to cover my advance. Have your units follow me. We'll assault them head on. Switch 85, you have superior firepower. You can overwhelm them if you push the advance on them. You're in charge of this operation. That sounds like a suicide mission, but our orders are to take commands from you. Unit, let's move out. Don't worry, it won't be. I'll be right here with you. Let's just knock these guys out if we can. There we go, that's him taken care of. Oh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Let's just crouch down for a moment. Yeah, they're all focusing on me, seeing as I ran in head first, of course. So let's just take care of that. Come on, drop your weapon. Thank you. Uh, morphed impacts, please. Oh crap, that's the remnants actually coming in. Okay, good. There we go, that's the old guys from before. Did I immediately get one of my limbs crippled? Yes, I did. Cool. Well, I guess we're just gonna do this with crippled limbs then. Yep, almost. Come on, guys. Actually, I should be moving on. Hey, Cannibal Johnson. Judah Krieger. They're all actually wearing all their old Enclave uniforms, which is pretty cool. Now we just have to keep moving. And I'm pretty sure they'll make short work of any NCR over there. Except one of them just lost their weapons, but that's fine. He's just going to use grenades now. Eh, whatever. There seems to be no Legion here for the time being, so I just have to keep moving. Oh, nearly fell off. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure it's right over there. So if I just keep... Cool. Yeah, I just have to keep moving. Just make it over there. See if I can ignore most of all of this. I'm not sure what would happen if you jump down, by the way. I'm assuming you'll die instantly, but I obviously can't check right now. Hi, right, don't mind me, guys. I'm just going to run through here. That bridge just faded out of existence. And one of the remnants is actually following me, which is cool enough, but I don't, I don't really think I need to fight these guys. Okay, well, yes, I do. Um, Had enough? Yeah, that guy has uh, one of the best unarmed weapons in this game. That's the one I usually pick when I, uh, when I actually do kill people. So I'm just gonna... I'll just keep him distracted while this guy kills him. Come on. There we go. Now you can take care of him, right? Yeah, the Ballistic Fist. Really good weapon. I always use that one. Let's just get some healing powder. And let's keep moving. Alright, Legates Camp. One more guy over there who apparently wants a piece of me. That's fine though, I can just knock him out. Oh crap, there's another one. <laughs> Shit, I should probably protect him, seeing as he's the only one who can actually kill these guys. Oh, one of them woke up again. 
Okay, uh, healing powder. Stimpax. All the Stimpax in the world. Come on, kill him! Kill him! Thank you! I'll take this off of you. And... I think one of them is... Yeah, I think a veteran legionary is actually running away, which is interesting. And see, he actually picked up a machete. That's cute. How are you doing? Okay, you're almost dead. Yeah, I'd appreciate it if you kept firing there, buddy. Thank you. I could probably just run to the Legget and it that pretty much be the end. But I do kind of want to do it this way. Just kind of, kind of clear out the camp if I can. Come on, Cannibal Johnson. There we go. Alright, let's keep moving. Cool. There's apparently more people. You know what? I'm, I think I've got the last one here done. Oh, and yeah, some NCR Rangers. I wonder how they'll do. And uh, that's a Legget right over there, by the way. Yeah, Legget Lumius, huge guy. Kind of fearsome as well. And he deflaved those guys to bits. Hi there. And who are you to come before me? You bear the insignia of the bear, yet you do not wear it as a soldier of the West wears it. If you think you've got any chance of taking over them, you're wrong. Many graves in the East are filled with those who said as much, with braver words, not backed by strength. It is Kaiser's will this gate to the West bear the flag of the Legion. Kaiser's will shall be done. Well, maybe you're willing to listen to reason. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. Speech 55. This battle is decided, that's why I'm here. So you seek quarter? Terms of surrender? Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. Save your speeches. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. Speech 65. Move forward. The Legion spent years trying to take Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam has never seen the mass strength of the East. Only legates such as Graham, who deserved the fire Kaiser blessed him with. Now I am here, and make markers of your people as the Legion carves its way west. Speech 75, and then what of the East? You speak in circles. What of the East? I am the East, and I will prove it this day. If you need all the East to crush the West. The victory here shall be swift. Our forces shall take the dam, secure it, then build a road west on the bodies of the NCR. The East will hold. Once across the Colorado, nothing to rival Hoover Dam remains. Speech 100. It's not the strength of the West that will slow you, it is their weakness. Your weakness? You seek to thwart me by claiming the Legion is too strong for you? The NCR's weakness is its size. It'll take your entire army to hold the West. That does not mean we would not succeed. Eventually, but moving your whole army west means losing the East. You can't hold both. The East was a hard-fought campaign. Even now, Kaiser drew too much of the Legion's blood needed there for this. Hoover Dam is but a place. I will not have it be the gravestone of the Legion, whether quickly or as you describe slowly by attrition. There is victory in wisdom, Legates. As for wisdom, there is wisdom in your words, man of the West. Know that I shall return east. I shall not remain there forever. On that day, the strength of the bear shall be tested. If the West is one day filled with ones such as you, perhaps it shall be a worthy fight indeed. If you feel that war matters that much, perhaps you will see differently in time. 
My coming would have saved you, set your people free in ways they cannot see. War would have tested them, broken the weak with its violence, yet allowing the strong to arise. Violence gave you that strength, awakened you. I can see it upon your face, where two bullets left their mark. Perhaps it is unfortunate Woolpex was not here to hear your words. Something tells me you would prove more than his match. Until the day when our armies meet again in CR, I shall wait for you on the battlefield. And he runs off. And now I've actually pretty much beaten the final boss of the game simply with words. So, the battle has been won, let's return to General Oliver. Also, I still have a mild concussion, but I'm sure that's fine. Wow. That's a fine bit of work back there. Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the dam. I'm impressed to say the least, and that's no easy thing. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. I do like how they actually give you XP, even though the game is about to end. That's just kind of like, um, I guess that kind of just shows that they did originally want you to be able to play after the ending. Uh, it was my duty, General. I was glad to help out. And we're glad to have you. And whether you're a soldier of the Republic or not, you're it in my eyes. Sometimes the Republic gets lost along the way while it's trying to follow its instincts. But when soldiers like you come along, it helps them get back on track and does it by example. And what you've done here today, that's going to keep us going for a while. And what happens now? We clean up, take prisoners, watch the East for any more trouble from the Legion. Though I think they're still running, according to our scouts. After that, we'll see what happens when the dust settles and how the Mojave looks now without Caesar coming for its throat. Something tells me we better enjoy this breather while we can. And if that means Vegas, then you and the troops have earned it. Uh, I'm going to rest for a bit, if you don't mind. Of course not. You earned it. Rest up. Let us carry things for a while. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out in the long run. But I guess history will tell us in its own sweet time. And I level up one final time. You know what? Let's put every single point into medicine. Maybe Sweetie will become a doctor. Who knows? And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The New California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave Wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave Wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. The Courier, fair and even-handed in his dealings throughout the Wasteland, was honored by the NCR for his support of the military at Hoover Dam. He was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. Tabitha and Rhonda went east, through Caesar's land. Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, and proved to be quite popular with children. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raoul was never able to find peace with himself. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name, as he had done so many times before. With the help of the Gunrunners, the Boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the Boomers began wandering out into the wasteland, while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. The Brotherhood and the NCR in the Mojave Wasteland declared an official truce, despite continued hostilities between the two in the West. As per their agreement, the NCR handed over all suits of salvaged power armor, and in return, the Brotherhood helped patrol I-15 and Highway 95. The peace with NCR served to ease Veronica's worries about the Brotherhood's immediate future. Still, a distance had arisen between her and her fellow members that would never be bridged. 
she began secluding herself in crumbling libraries of the old world, learning of promising technologies she knew the Brotherhood would never adopt. Never weakened by NCR, the Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle at Hoover Dam. Though NCR repulsed the Fiends, they suffered heavy losses in the process. After the NCR's victory at the dam, the followers of the Apocalypse were pushed out of Old Mormon Fort during its occupation by NCR forces. NCR further encouraged them to leave Outer Vegas entirely, and the followers had no choice but to comply. Arcade had hoped that Freeside would be able to remain independent of NCR rule, but he was glad that Caesar's Legion had been stopped at Hoover Dam. He tended to the sick in Freeside for a while longer, then returned to NCR territory to become a teacher with the followers there. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland, but with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. In the years following the destruction of Cassidy Caravans, NCR used evidence of the plot to blackmail the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. NCR enacted strict trade laws with little resistance, strengthening their supply lines and their position in the Mojave. Cass survived to see the NCR flag flying proud over Hoover Dam and thought for a moment, this is what a hero must feel like. She was about to tell the courier not to get too proud of himself. Then she figured, he knew that already. That night, Cass kicked in the door of his room to celebrate, only to find the man on the bed was an NCR soldier whose barracks had been destroyed. He was cute though, so after having her way with him, she got the hell out, leaving an empty whiskey bottle as a note. As she walked along the dam in the night, she felt drunk, content, and happy to be alive. Which to her, was the whole point of it all. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the King steadfastly maintained their independence. Shaped up by the Courier's advice, the Misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Golf. Mags was finally promoted to Sergeant, and the rest of the Misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, Many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Looking for a place where he could be of some use, Boone found himself re-enlisting with his old unit. Though his regrets remained in his thoughts, they coalesced into a purpose, and Boone embraced it. He spent his leave time hunting down slavers in the desert, his first recon beret the last thing they never saw. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. After the Vault 19 powder gang surrendered to the NCR, they were reincorporated into the correctional system. The NCR did increase their sentences, and they aren't about to take off time for good behavior. 
Prim Slim proves to be an able-minded, if not able-bodied, sheriff for Prim. And due to his slow speed, some crooks get away without a scratch. But Prim continues to prosper under his watchful robotic eye. Defying Chief Hanlon's worst fears, NCR's rangers persevered and distinguished themselves during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. The rangers, along with NCR's many troopers, shared the glory of victory. Hanlon wisely stayed out of the spotlight, crediting General Oliver's leadership for NCR's success. After a brief fanfare, Hanlon stepped down as chief and returned to the peace and quiet of his ranch outside of Redding. After their bold arrival at Hoover Dam, the remnants disappeared as quickly as they came. Legends of their power spread throughout the Southwest, a reminder of why people once feared the sight of vertebrates in the sky. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. And with that, that's the end of this entire series. Now, strangely enough, the one ending slide which I didn't really understand was the one with the fiends, because it says that they were never crippled by the NCR. But I did three card bounty, and I took out three of the four fiend leaders. So I should have gotten a different ending there, but for some reason I didn't. But anyway, it's not too important. I think that's about the best ending you can get. There's a few small things that are not related to any quests that I didn't do. Like for example, uh, Raul. I could have had him get a happier ending. But then again, it isn't too bad. So that's just really every single side quest together with the NCR path done without killing anyone. This has been a really long series. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I had to really think of some ways of doing some quests without killing anyone. I had to do some pretty uh, extensive research in during some quests on how to do them. And I've in fact really enjoyed it. I hope you guys also really enjoyed this series. Uh, if you have any more suggestions for what you would like to see, any Fallout related stuff in the other games, feel free to put them down in the comments. And I'll see you all soon enough. There's also time for Sweetie to retire. I think it'd be pretty cool if you became a doctor or something, you know? Just straight up be done with all the fighting and all the questing and whatever, and just simply move on with his life. I think that'd be nice. Anyway, for now I just want to say thank you all for watching. This has been Fallout New Vegas, no kill, permadeath, boxing gloves only, and I'll see you all next time.